Hi, my name is Gabriel Michaud, and I'm the Director of Product Management at Acumatica. I'm wearing my developer hat today to show you a little project I did recently in preparation for the launch of the new Partner Portal. The new Partner Portal is built using WordPress, and this new portal will include some screens coming from the Acumatica ERP. For example, CRM cases, opportunities, and so on. Accessing these screens means logging into Acumatica, and we did not like the idea of forcing you to log in twice to access this information from WordPress. You may be familiar with the new single sign-on feature in Acumatica 5, which allows us to log into Acumatica using one of the supported identity providers, such as Google or Windows Azure Active Directory. This feature, however, does not work the other way around. You cannot authenticate on other sites using the Acumatica user database. You could argue that we are already doing it for the Acumatica University and the Product Feedback Forum, and you would be right. However, this was done using uh, custom APIs offered by these products and not by using a standard such as SAML 2.0. So, given the fact that WordPress also has a number of single sign-on plugins, I thought we could make Acumatic a SAML-compliant identity provider as well. The first step was getting WordPress to work with an existing SAML identity provider. I installed the SAML plugin on my WordPress site and signed up for a trial account at one login. From this point on, I was able to log in and log out to my WordPress site using my one login credentials. To analyze the messages being sent from WordPress to one login, I use the Firefox SAML Tracer add-on, which decodes all the messages that are sent. This allowed me to see the content of the SAML request and the SAML response, which would be very helpful for me later when coding my own identity provider. A typical SAML login workflow looks like the following. The user first tries to reach the application also known as the service provider in the SAML lingo. Seeing that the user is not logged in, the service provider generates a SAML login request and redirects the browser to the identity provider single sign-on URL. The identity provider is then responsible of authenticating the user and returning an encoded response back to the browser. The response is returned as an HTTP POST message to the service provider which will then verify the SAML response to make sure that it's legitimate. At this point, the user gets access to the application. With that knowledge, I quickly realized that building a full identity provider from scratch would be too complex, so I started looking for libraries that would allow me to read the SAML authentication request and return the correct response. I found an open source project called Kenter Auth Services, but unfortunately most of the samples included were about using this library to connect to other identity providers and not to build an actual identity provider. So it took me some time to get it to work. Rather than building the provider straight in Acumatica, I created a simple ASP.NET page and focused on the code I need to decode the request and generate a response back. This page receives a SAML login request, decodes it, and then generates a hard-coded response to authenticate to the WordPress site. As you can see, the response is digitally signed, so the WordPress site knows it's coming from a trusted third party. Let's try it using a SAML login request that I generated earlier while I was testing WordPress with one login as the identity provider. So you can see that the system was able to decode the request, it's indeed valid, and uh, by clicking login, the system will generate uh, an authentication response and log me into the WordPress site. Voila, I'm now logged into WordPress as myself. The last piece of the puzzle is the handling of logouts. When you log out from your application, you want to ensure that any existing session is also closed in your identity provider. This process is called a single sign-out. Unfortunately, there is no support for SAML logout requests or SAML logout responses in Kenter Auth services, but I was able to build it myself. 
So I created a new class called SAML tool logout request and a new class called SAML tool logout response. So here it is. I have forked this project on GitHub and contributed my changes back to the community. Once again, to test this process, I created a simple ASP.NET page. I am now ready to create the Acumatica pages that will allow WordPress to log in and log out using Acumatica. So inside the pages directory, I created two blank ASPX files, login SAML and logout SAML. Since these files are located in a directory that is secured, whenever I try to access it, I'm sent to the Acumatica login screen, like this. After typing my password, I'm going to see uh, just a, a basic response that I place inside the ASPX page. So let's add some code to this page. First of all, we're going to start with the login page. I'm going to click View Code. The first thing I need to do is uh, decode the SAML request. So the SAML request will be part of the uh, HTTP uh, query string parameters. If for any reason the request is not formed correctly or is missing, uh, it will be null and I'll just throw an exception in this case. So after logging in, I'm able to retrieve the currently logged uh, user info. So I'm going to need the username, first name, last name, as well as email. So and I do this by using pxaccess.getUserID. And using the user ID, I'm then able to load the user from the user's table. So at this point, I know that uh, I've uh, authenticated the user successfully and I'm ready to send a response back to uh, WordPress. So this uh, response will need to be signed using a certificate. And I'm going to load this certificate from the same directory as my uh, ASPX page. So this is a PFX, pa uh, this is a PFX certificate. The certificate is uh, self-signed and I built it using OpenSSL. So nothing fancy is needed. Next step is uh, preparing the claims that will be returned uh, as part of uh, my SAML response. So inside the claims, you will find the username, uh, the email, the first name, the last name, as well as uh, group membership. In this case, we're not really dealing with groups and access rights, but uh, technically you could send information and grant different access rights based on the WordPress user. Actually, this is something I'm going to do uh, later because uh, we need to uh, give access to different pages uh, depending on the type of Acumatica user. So each claim has um, a, a type as well as a value and uh, the claims type will uh, vary depending on uh, the SAML service provider and identity providers that you work with. But since we are dealing with WordPress and I am responsible for both the identity provider and the service provider, I'm just going to hard code uh, the claims that I need in this case. Okay, so we are pretty much ready to send uh, the response. Uh, just let me fix this. And we're going to build a SAML response object and send it uh, back uh, inside the browser. So we are done with the login page. Let's move on to the logout page. now. So once again, same thing. First of all, we need to decode uh, the logout request and if it's invalid, we just throw an exception. Uh, second thing we're going to do is validate the relay uh, URL. So as part of the logout request, uh, WordPress is going to send us uh, a website where the user should be sent after uh, the logout has been processed. So to avoid any uh, security issues, we just make sure that the request URL ends with acumatica.com. Otherwise, we just stop the logout process. The third step is ending the session inside Acumatica. And I found the code to do this inside main.aspx, which is uh, the main page that drives uh, Acumatica. We then need to generate the logout response serialize it and encode it in base64 format. That's it for the logout request. Let's try it. I'm going to access the WordPress site 
and since I'm not logged in the system will send me to my Acumatica login page so let's sign in and if everything goes well I should be sent back to the WordPress home page Voila, that's it. And let's try the logout process now. All good. Thank you very much for listening. Everything that you have seen today will be made available on the Acumatica Developer Network site at adn.acumatica.com. And I will also make the source code available on my GitHub page at github.com slash g-m-i-c-h-a-u-d.